Jackson State receives a commitment from a six foot four, 235 Marshall tight end transfer. We're going to talk about what it means and what it does for the JSU offense after the bump. What is up, everybody? What is up, everybody? My name is Jeff Lightsey Jr. here at the Black Boss Channel with Victor Formation. Thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe, and notification bell because we upload every single day. Now, JSU, Coach Prime, Tim Brewster is at it again. They went out and got a commitment from a tight end transfer from Marshall by the name of Hayden Hagler. Hayden Hagler, he's coming in. He's going to play for Coach Prime. He went to Marshall. This was the Twitter announcement put out by Mr. Hagler. Let me go ahead and share my screen. Um, this is this is what Mr. Hagler put out on Twitter right here. Committed to the Jackson State. He tagged Coach Prime. He tagged Tim Brewster. And this is Tim Brewster once again showing off his ability to get young men to play for him. Uh, Tim Brewster isn't the tight ends coach, but... He is known. He's been a tight ends coach for years. He's coached a ton, a ton, a ton of tight end talent, including Cal Pitts, who was the highest drafted tight end in the history of the NFL, and including Antonio Gates, who he helped turn into a pro football Hall of Famer, a future Hall of Famer, that is. But Hayden Hagler comes from Marshall, 6'4". He says he's 235 pounds, and he's got three years of eligibility left. Uh, this commitment is more of an extension of the offensive line. Uh, Hayden Hagler isn't someone, I mean, during he, he played, he went to Juco, then he went to uh, Marshall, where he only appeared in eight games in two years. So it's not like you're getting one of these four-star guys, one of these highly touted prospects. But Hayden Hagler does one a couple of things. Like I said, he's six foot six. I mean, six foot four, 235 pounds. He is going to be an extension of your offensive line. He is a blocking tight end. He's coming in. He's not coming in to catch 50 balls from Shador. He's not coming in to score 10 touchdowns a year. He's coming in to help shore up that offensive line from the tight end position. We know in a lot of times, most tight ends in the NFL or the high-level tight ends that you see are pass-catching tight ends that go out there, the Travis Kelseys of the world, the, uh, the the Cal Pitts of the world, the different tight ends that you see that go out and make a bunch of noise. But there is still a special place for blocking tight ends. George Kittle and Rob Gronkowski are two of the best blocking tight ends or were. Rob, uh, Gronk just retired, but George Kittle being one of the best tight ends blocking this does wonders for your run game there's a reason why the 49ers have had one of the best running games since Kyle Shanahan's come in not just because of his scheme but also because he's at a great tight end setting the edge blocking I think that's what Hagler is being brought in to do now once again I'm not in a coaching meeting I'm not there I can't tell you what you know their thought process but looking at his tape which isn't much once again he hasn't appeared in a bunch of games it's mainly of him blocking this lets me know that there is going to be an emphasis on the run game. We know what JSU struggled with last year. They struggled in offensive line. They struggled to run the ball. They've done everything in their power to fix that. They brought in essentially like 10 offensive linemen. And they brought in a running back in Savion Wilkerson that's one of the best running backs in all of HBCU football. You got Caleb Johnson, you got some others that may be better, but Savion's right there at the top. So you bring in a guy like Savion Wilkerson, you bring in 10 offensive linemen, you have Shadour with another year of experience and all the weapons galore on the outside from the guys returning in, the new guys. This offense is lining up to be very potent. We understand that the offense is going to be air raid, but there are elements. First of all, you can't throw the ball if your quarterback's being chased everywhere. And there are elements in an air raid where you can have a power running game. And bringing in blocking tight ends and massive offensive linemen helps you in that run game. And what does that do for a young quarterback that is only in his true sophomore year back there looking to make plays through the air? It makes it a lot easier when you're able to hand the ball off. It makes it a whole lot easier when you're able to hand the ball off to a guy like a Savion Wilkerson. And you got the big uglies that are actually really good. 
that can actually make plays. And then you got tight ends, you know, because Key Mullins is a guy that's going to be able to go out there and pass catch. But this Hayden Hagler, let me go ahead and show you Hayden Hagler. He is a guy that's going to come in and block for you. Six foot four. They have him at 222. But he says on Twitter he's 235 now. He's going to be able to get to block. He's going to do the dirty work. He's going to do a job that, that isn't glamorous. And I'm sure they told him that. And he's accepted that because it's only one football. It's only one football. And you got to feed Malachi Wideman. You got to feed Kevin Coleman. You got to feed Trevante Rucker. You got to feed Keon Mullen. You got to feed Travis Hunter when he comes on offense. You get what I'm saying? You got to feed Santee Marshall in the backfield. Savion Wilkerson, I think, is going to be RB1. You got to get him the ball. But you also got Tyson Alexander coming back from injury. So there's only one football. No way. It, it, there's no way they told Hayden Hagler, a guy who's only appeared in eight games and caught three passes, that he's going to be a feature part of the pass catching offense. It's not happening. He's coming in a block, six foot four. 235 pounds, an extension of the offensive line at the tight end position, and JSU looks like they're going to want to hit people in the mouth. They, I mean, bringing in all these offensive linemen, first of all, you got to get the right combination of the five, and then you're bringing in big, strong tight ends. You're looking to, I mean, yeah, you got your air raid. You're looking to be explosive. You're looking to score a lot of points. You're looking to light up the scoreboard, but you're also looking to hit people in the mouth, and when the, when the game, when you're trying to close down a game, and you, you're leading, and you want to kill some clock, just go out there and just punch him in the mouth with the run game and bring it in a block and tight end like a Hayden Hagler at 230 pounds, a six foot four can help you do that. I like it. I like it. I, it's, it's, it's a good ad. Uh, it's a surprising ad. I didn't see it coming, but it's a good one. Nonetheless, leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Once again, my name is Jeff Lighty Jr. with the black boss channel and victory formation. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hit that thumbs up button on your way out. And you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at jlighty7 on Instagram and Twitter at jlighty7. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll see you next time. Peace.